All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we are going to continue uh, modeling numbers. We're going to be writing and writing, uh, reading and writing numbers. We're going to be modeling them using place value disks. Uh, but we're also going to continue adding a new form of representation of numbers. We're going to be doing it on an empty number line. So let's get started. So let's start with the number 129. So what you're going to do as a teacher, uh, you might um, lay out a place value chart like this. And you can leave it blank because we don't need it right now. Although I like to not leave it blank. I like to make sure our students know that this is the ones, tens, and hundreds columns. And I like to write them out in front of them so that they see that I'm writing it down. Uh, if those numbers are pre-slugged in and pre-written in, I mean the words, the labels, if they're pre-written in, students tend to miss that and not see it. So I like to write them out in front of them and have the kids say, hey, these are the ones, these are the tens, and these are the hundreds. And the idea is we're going to be memorizing these things. It's super important. So how do we model 129? All right. So the idea is we're going to take a number, di a hundreds disk, and put it in the hundreds column. And the reason why, oftentimes Eureka Math says leave this blank, is because this becomes redundant. Hundreds in the hundreds column is redundant, but I like to label it anyway. And then we're going to grab two tens, and then we're going to grab nine ones. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And notice, teachers, that I'm leaving this in like a 10 frame style, five and four. If there's nine numbers in nine ones, I could have done three rows of three, um, but I want to really stick with that 10 frame concept. And anytime I can, I'm going to stick with the 10 frame. And as long as I'm saying that, yikes, oops, I really should put this here. Uh, now I'm maintaining the integrity of those 10 frame concepts, right? So there's our 100, 129. So we've modeled 129. So as I'm laying out these disks, I'd say, okay, this is 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, etc., and count all the way to 129. Now, ultimately, we're also going to be asking our students to label this on an empty number line. So the idea would be we're going to start way back on our to the left, right? And we're going to start to the left at 0. And I'll label this 0. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our hops. And we're going to make our hops kind of proportional, but not really. All right, so what we're going to do is if we want to do 100, so we're going to first model this 100. So we're going to go boom right there. So I made a, a skip, and I made a skip, and I'm going to call that 100. And then we want to do a skip of 10 and 10. And so I'm going to go skip of 10, skip of 10. So there's a skip of 10, and there's a skip of 10. And now finally, we want to do these nine little ones. So I'm going to make those kind of look small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so there's our little skips. Now if I want, I could go one, 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 one. That's a, a good way to do it. And then label that. 129. Okay, so I can label that zero as well. So that's the idea. Uh, this is not like, it doesn't have to be precise. We don't need to make the 100 10 times as big as the 10. And uh, it's just kind of semi-proportional in speaking. And that is how we are going to connect 129 to the place value system and the empty number line system. So here, the homework says, let's draw the place value disks. So I'm going to get my little place value. And oh, let's just do it this way. Now, students are not expected to label our place value chart. 
And then the idea is we've got 43, so what is that going to look like if we were to model it with place value disks? We would have 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 3. 1, 2, 3. All right. Now, teachers, if your students don't make the place value chart, they just lay out the number disks, that's perfectly fine as well. In fact, I'll do that over here for 430. 430, I would say, okay, 100, 200, 300, 400. And then we're going to lay out, let's see, uh, 30. 410, 420. 430, and that's okay as well, although I think technically we would prefer the place value chart for this, but that's okay. We're going to um, pick our battles here. Now I am going to show how, let's how, to, how to model 43 on that empty number line. So here's our, our line. I just made it a, some arbitrary length, and there's our zero. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to model these hops of 10. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's 10, 10, 10, 10. So there's our hops of 10. And now we want to model our little three little hops of one units over here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And we can go 1, 1, and 1. And so where do we end up at? We end up at 43. And you can see that down here. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, all right? So we are connecting the number to the place value chart and to the empty number line. And the last problem I just thought I would do, oh, let's do 936 because that's kind of a big one. So we're going to start with the place value chart, and I'm going to make it a little bit larger than normal. And I like to write in the label, students for homework do not have to, but... As a teacher, I would recommend you do that during your lesson, but not expect students to do it during their homework. So now let's model 936. So modeling 936, we'd go 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. All right, so there's our 900. And we're going to wiggle that. And I want to make sure you noticed, again, I did that 10 frame here for 900. I did 5 and 4. So now we're going to do that 3 for 30, three tens. All right, so that's 10, 20. So that's 920, 930. And now we can do the 1s, 931, 932, 933, 934, 935, and 936. All right, so... We can now see, here's our 900, 30, and 6. 936. By the way, this little extra stuff, that's your Dwayne Hobecker bonus. That's not part of the Eureka um, lesson at this point. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 13, where we are reading and writing numbers, using that place value disks to, to model. And then, of course, we also added in this new wrinkle, which is modeling the number using an empty number line.